Hi everybody, this is Bob working on the old Heathkit AT1 transmitter here, which is uh, which is upside down. <laughs> I've got my camera turned over. Anyhow, I uh, ran into a problem here that I thought I would show you guys, and I thought it was very unusual and uh, really was surprised when I found it. Uh, what I was doing was testing out the transmitter for uh, straight key night, and uh, I pulled out the crystal and uh, and hit the key to see if the transmitter was stable uh, the oscillator basically the 6AG7 anyhow it took off and oscillated and I thought whoa it's getting feedback from someplace and it's oscillating without the crystal and I thought ooh that's not good it shows instability it's not good engineering practice to have one that does that and uh, and uh, I could accidentally uh, push on the key without the crystal and transmit out of band and oh boy so I decided I would check it out and it only took me about 15 minutes to find it which was really really surprising that I found it that quick so anyhow what happened was I got out the AT1 schematic and uh, here it is I happen to have an original AT1 schematic from uh, when somebody uh, built an AT1 back in the 1950s and uh, here is the schematic here is a 6AG7 uh, oscillator tube and you'll notice I have penciled in a 0 .01 microfarad capacitor right there and I, I just looked at the schematic and I thought hey I don't see any bypass there and if there is one it may be way down the line somewhere so I traced the wiring all the way through and I did not find a bypass anywhere so I dug around found a one uh, 1000 volt point zero one microfarad capacitor soldered it in there and the thing is stable it does no longer it no longer oscillates with no crystal in it and I thought wow I'm gonna pass that on I can't believe that this thing was designed in the 1950s was produced all those years thousands of them were made and they do not have a bypass capacitor at this location so uh, if you want to find it you just go to pin 6 here there's a 47 K 47,000 ohm resistor right there at 2 watts and here's the end of that choke right there that's this choke right here and then there's my 0 .01 capacitor there right at this location right here and here's the 47k resistor right here so I just wanted to show you guys that and uh, I have looked at several schematics on the internet and uh, none of them show a capacitor at that location and uh, I thought wow all these years and these things have been working like that and I thought let's uh, let's uh, let the guys know on the internet so we're getting this thing all set for uh, SKN I'm checking it all out and and this is what happened so that's it guys and uh, we're, we're anxious to get this thing back in the cabinet so we can get ready for SKN night on January 1st starts at 000 Zulu or GMT or UTC whatever you want to call it and goes until 2359 that's on January 1st so anyhow we'll be on the air on 80 meters I got my 30 3552 crystal in here and I've got some more crystals too that I can use and I've also got a couple for 40 meters so we're going to do that so it looks like it's going to be a fun time with that I'll say 73s to everybody Merry Christmas this is Christmas Day actually here and Happy New Year and everybody 73s and good DX